Hello, aspirant. This is Ranjit from Shankar IAS Academy. Day before yesterday, SSC uh, notification released 2023. So today we'll discuss about uh, notifications, exam schemes, and uh, pattern syllabus. Then after that, age criteria, educational qualification, we'll discuss about everything, right? So date for submission of online application, 3-4-2023 to 3-5-2023, like uh, 3rd April to 3rd May. So one month of time has given. Last date and time for receipt of online application, 3-5-2023. Then making online fee payment, 4-5-2023. So offline fee, fee, fee payment, 5-5-2023. So the last data, uh, date of uh, window for application form corrections. If supposed to be form corrections, they given uh, time 7-5-2023, 8-5-2023. If supposed to be, if you are going to uh, correction your application means you are using this two date, 7-5-2023. Uh, 2023 to 85-2023. The first time correction, you have to pay 200 rupees. Second time correction, you have to pay 500 rupees. Then, tentative schedule for Tier 1 computer based examination, July 2023. Actually, July 14th uh, is a tentative date. Then, next one, Tier 2 to be notified later. Right. So, these are the date as given. Then, next one, detail of post. What are the posts uh, they are going to be uh, filled? So group B and group C posts, uh, they are going to be filled. Around uh, 36 posts, 36 department, uh, different posts, uh, they are going to be filled. Along with the 7,500 vacancies. So vacancies is also declared. 7,500 vacancy, maybe it, it might be increases. So tentatively given, so 7,500 vacancy. They are going to be filled group B and group C category. So the topmost post is nothing but assistant audit officer and assistant account officer these two are the topmost posts because this is a gazette officer post group b category so actually age limit has given 18 to 30 so the minimum age 18 maximum age 30 so adding plus three years for obc plus five years for uh, scst right so plus five years for scst plus three years for obc so here assistant sectional officer, then this is also group B post. Actually, the topmost is two assistant audit officer and assistant account officer. So the rest of the thing is assistant sectional officer, ASO, like uh, secretary, uh, secretary service, intelligence bureau, ministry of railway, ministry of external affairs, then headquarters, ministry of electronic and information technology. These are the posts as given, group B category. Then uh, minimum age, same 18 to 30. And some posts like central secretary service, 20 to 30 is the uh, minimum to maximum age. Age criteria is also given. So at the same time, age criteria is uh, differ from some other post. So like uh, assistant officer, assistant sectional officer. Then after that, group C category, CBT, central board of direct tax, like income tax um, uh, officers, like uh, inspector of income tax, inspector of central exercise, then group B category, minimum age 18 to 30. Then sub-inspector post, Central Bureau of Investigation, inspector post, Department of uh, Ministry of Communication. Then narcotics, so inspector of narcotics, Central Bureau of Narcotics, Finance, Ministry of Finance. This is also come under the group, group B category. Then after that, uh, uh, like uh, research assistant, executive assistant, divisional account. So this is also come under group B category. And one more post like the junior statistical officer, JSO. So the age criteria is given 18 to 32. 32 is the maximum age. So here you are adding with three for OBC, adding with five for SCST, right? So SCST category. The next one. Like group C category, auditor, office under CAG, then uh, CGDA department, then uh, uh, officer under CAG, again, officers under CAG, controller general of accounts, then other ministry department, which has come under group C category. Here, the age criteria is also given 18 to 27. Minimum 18, maximum 27, right? Then last one, sub-inspector, Central Bureau of Narcotics Ministry of Finance, group C, it come under group C. Right, so this is also tax assistant also is given. The next one, <clears throat> everything uh, come under the one roof because of your writing uh, tier one and tier two, the scheme of the examination. 
so once you clear tier 2 uh, examination they would be considered the merit marking so we'll see what is a scheme of the examination a scheme of the examination and before going to scheme of examination we'll see age limit actually the age limit as on date is given 0108 to 2023 so that uh, the candidate must have been born not earlier than 2-8-1996 and not later than Z I mean 1-8-2005 right then uh, next one for the post which age limit 20 to 30 which means the candidate must have been born not earlier than 2-8-1993 and not later than 1-8-2003 uh, right so the candidate 18 to 22 32 for the post for which age limit 18 to 32 candidate must have been born not earlier than 28-1991 and not earlier than uh, later than 1-8-2005 then OBC SEST for 5 years of age relaxation OBC 3 years of age relaxation then next one actually uh, so the OBC certificate they given uh, you have to <coughs> getting OBC certificate before writing examination data is also given then this is the essential qualification for essential qualification assistant audit officer assistant account officer bachelor degree from a recognized university or institute or uh, institute for example recognized university recognized institute so bachelor degree for any stream right whether it is a ba category or bsc then uh, science stream or art stream or engineering stream whatever it is you are uh, you are for eligible for audit uh, assistant audit officer or uh, assistant account officer actually desirable qualification is also given it's only for the desirable it, it is not essential it is only for the desirable uh, ca chartered account and cost management then uh, master in business administration finance master in business economics so these are the essential qualification for AAO. Then JSO, Junior Statistical Officer, Bachelor degree in any subject from a recognized university or institute with at least 60 marks in mathematics at, at 12th standard level. So if you are getting a 60 percentage mark 12th standard level, you are eligible for JSO. Or Bachelor degree in any stream with the subject of statistics, one of the subject. So if any two, right, any, any one, so that among these two, any one, uh, you are eligible for JSO. Statistical in investigator grade two, bachelor degree in any subject with uh, statistics, uh, statistics as one of the subject from a recognized university in the city. This is also the uh, qualification and a research assistant in National Human, uh, Human Rights Commission. The essential qualification, bachelor degree, desirable qualification, minimum one year of research experience in any recognized university or recognized research institute. All other posts, bachelor degree is more than enough. All other uh, remaining posts, other posts. So bachelor degree is uh, more than enough. And the very important thing is the final year student graduation can apply. So final year, final year student graduation can also apply. This is also the very important news. So that uh, those who done in the final year, so you also the eligible uh, the essential qualification on or before the cutoff date. So the result should be published. 1-8-2023, right? So the result should be published before 1-8-2023. Uh, so final year students, so you are getting a more advantage because of uh, the, the reason is final year students apply this examination. The next one. Then distance education, IGNO student. So that uh, IGNO student who were enrolled up the academy year 2009-2010, shall be treated as valid. Of course, you also apply this examination, IGNU students, uh, distance education students. The next one. Candidate are advised, submit the application, submit online application. So before the closing date, so that uh, at the same time, so be, uh, due to disconnection, inability of failure to log in, SSC website, account of heavy load, on the website during the closing date so that uh, avoid the last time of uh, submission of application because clearly mentioned sometimes you may get disconnected the last week of uh, before closing date 
so that disconnection inability failure to log in it might be happen because of uh, heavy load or website during the closing dates so that uh, try to complete your uh, online registration so that uh, on or before like um, uh, i mean uh, before the closing date but don't rush up in the last minute of the uh, day because uh, the reason it happened they given clearly mentioned in the uh, 9.5 right next one so at the same time before submission of the online application candidate must check through the previous print option that they have filled correct details so whether you are giving a correct details you have to check it one more time so that because the reason is nothing but if you want to correction uh, in your application form uh, seven, I mean, uh, seven five two thousand twenty three eight five two thousand three twenty three. They given only two uh, two dates is given. At the same time, once you are uh, getting correction in your online application, you have to pay two hundred rupees. The second time five hundred rupees. So uh, avoid this uh, situation. Then next one application fee hundred rupee. Women candidate and candidate belong to scheduled caste or SCST candidate. The uh, exemption is as given from the pay payment of the fee. So other they are going to be uh, payment of the uh, fee online through BIM, UPI, net banking, Visa, MasterCard. So these are the option is given both online, offline, both are available fee payment. Next one. Examination centers. So that um, uh, here the examination center is also given. So that you have to check the examination centers. And Southern region, we have a lot of opportunities is there because Andhra Pradesh, Pondicherry, Tamil Nadu, Telangana. So that um, you have to check it one more time in the center of examination. Then next one, schemes of examination, tier one and tier two. So tier one mark, it's only for qualification. Tier two, they consider only for the merit ranking, right? So that uh, let's see what are what is uh, schemes of tier one examination. Here they are going to be test four session. The fourth session is nothing but general intelligence and reasoning, 25 questions, 25 marks. Then general awareness, 25 questions, 50 marks. Uh, actually, general intelligence, 25 questions, 50 marks. General awareness, 25 questions, 50 marks. Quantitative aptitude, 25 questions, 50 marks. English comprehension, 25 questions, 50 marks. Each question they given two marks. And uh, we have a penalty mark also. So 0 0.50 is a penalty mark, right? 0 0.50 is a penalty mark. And everything should be objective type of questions, multiple choice of question. They're given one hour time allotted. Uh, apart from that, one hour and 20 minutes for the candidate eligible for scribe. So that uh, these are the time. So this is only for qualification nature. So once you are qualified, you will be, uh, I mean, you will be writing for second level, like a scheme tier two examination so you are eligible for tier two then tier two we have a session one and session two paper one and paper two so session one is nothing but module one mathematics ability 30 question but here each question they given three marks so that uh, if each question giving three marks means 30 into three times then reasoning uh, general intelligence 30 questions each question three marks the so total 180 questions 180 marks total 60 question 180 marks because each question they given three marks right here one hour uh, of uh, duration of time then after that uh, second uh, session two english language and comprehension general awareness english language 45 questions general awareness 25 question here also each question given three marks so that's 17 to 3 to 10 marks the next one paper two paper two session three is nothing but computer knowledge model 20 question 20 into three times because each question given three marks then data entry speed test module only data entry task so this is also uh, they given 15 minutes of time 15 minutes for computer uh, knowledge test and 15 minutes for computer data entry test so the next one paper two and paper three paper two those who are eligible for jso they can write statistical examination paper three those who are eligible for aao they only write general studies, finance and economics. Others, it is not required paper two and paper three. So JSO, those who are uh, selected for JSO candidate, they can write statistic examination. Then those who are selected for AAO, they can write uh, paper three, general studies and finance. So the rest, uh, apart from uh, the candidate, they can write paper one also, right? Not required paper two and paper three. 
right so general paper 2 paper 3 it's not required then next one so these are the syllabus is given actually the syllabus uh, here uh, the given syllabus both uh, tier 1 and tier 2 so quantitative you have to do general awareness then after that tier 1 general intelligence and reasoning so these are the syllabus as given even uh, gender studies finance and economic spot stats part everything should be given then next one so that um, and clearly given how to apply the applications so this is also very very important so how to applying these applications so that at the same time before application one more time or two more time you have to check it out whether it is correct or wrong then here clearly given how to apply the application so application detail is given so that before going to fill the application you have to read one more time then here so that uh, recent scan color photo uh, passport size photos so that it is not more than the three month old so recent photo 20 kb to 50 kb so these are the uh, photo uh, filling filling of the online application keep the following data ready so clearly given in the data then next one uh, scan signature 10 to 20 kb then after that on the next one on the morning, passing passing years roll number percentage gpca so you have to detail of qualification education uh, qualification given then next one so these are the very important then your photo a specific a specific photograph is given like this so don't wear a cap so too close extra color so that uh, don't do this because uh, it is not accepted maybe your uh, application it, it might be rejected so avoid this uh, photos so don't wear specs glasses like that so these are the application as given so the last year there is nothing changed so everything should be same so that um, all the best to all the students thank you